we will look at the three different play modes available in Myriad 5 Playout. We're starting in Auto Fade, which will green or sweep items over each other in the order shown in the log. In Auto Fade, you should not see any red squares and you won't be able to set any. The play mode can be changed on the fly or set across the hour. Click on Previous Hour to go to the top of the Current Hour and to the Hour Header. Right click and choose Change Hour Mode and you can then change between Live Assist and Auto Fade. Here we have changed it from Auto Fade to Live Assist and the left hand side of the log has changed from having a green bar to having an orange bar. The item set or previous state has been shown, so I now see in some red squares along with some green and some yellow. Here we'll use the right click menu to change those reds to green. Another way of changing the play modes is using the icon in the home tab on the ribbon toolbar. Standby will effectively turn off the log. Anything currently playing will continue to its natural end. We are in live or live assist mode, meaning I can soft delete items, move them around in the log. And we currently have an overrun here of 2 minutes 22 seconds. So by deleting them, I can get this down to give me some time to talk between the items. If in this play mode, I go into auto fade, Myriad 5 player will selectively either soft delete an item or fade any songs which do fade earlier than normally in order to remove that overrun. So I clicked it and the overrun's gone and several of the songs shown with their durations put in red colour and italicised have had their durations trimmed. If you put your mouse pointer on the durations you can see their original length and the reason for trimming them. Finally another way to change the play mode is under the hour slash import tab and click on the disclosure triangle and toggle the modes there.